we're back to Alicia, who's going to talk about coding long-term drug therapy. Mm. This one was a lot of fun because this is an area that when we're teaching coding, we have to talk about their specific codes used for long-term therapy use. And um, the person has sent in a question says, can you give me some insight in how to know when to code for long-term current drug therapy if it isn't exactly stated as such? And again, this can get very, very confusing. So what I wanted to do is kind of break it down and explain what long-term drug therapy was and some examples above and beyond what you normally see in a testing scenario because they like to use the long-term uh, insulin use and long-term um, oral anti-diabetic use, uh, meaning you're taking a pill for your diabetes. <clears throat> but ultimately, what is drug therapy? It's pharmacology, it's uh, pharmacotherapy. So anytime you're taking a drug into your body to treat a disease, you're taking drug therapy. And this could be uh, over-the-counter medications as well, uh, because as you know, a lot of people take um, aspirin, baby aspirin, uh, and that's over-the-counter, and yet the your provider is has prescribed for you to take that. They're wanting to thin your blood out a little bit. And that has been um, noted to be very helpful if you do that. Ultimately, drugs, how do drugs work? And I thought this statement was really good because it, it states that it, it uh, interacts with receptors or enzymes to pro promote health. And um, we forget that uh, drug therapy works on a cellular level. Uh, the code that the person was asking about was Z79.899. Now, there are two other codes that are usually used in the in scenarios to test you on, and <clears throat> that is Z79.84 and Z79. Point, um, uh, let's see, it's not 84; it's one of the other ones, but. <coughs> the anti-diabetic and then there's um, long-term use of insulin don't get those don't get that confused with Z79.899 uh, again if a person is taking an oral medication for their diabetes long term you have a code for that remember we're doing this for statistics we want to track that but there's other medications that are taken long term that we need to track that the patient has had. But we can't list all of the medications long term. It would, you know, fill up our code set. So uh, Z79.899 is other. And, you know, when we're doing ICD, <clears throat> other means that that is specified that we just don't have a code for it. So <clears throat> uh, let's scroll down. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, notice here some references that uh, for LCD, and this is a billing aspect, but they're saying that uh, if you do use these codes for long term insulin use and long term other drug use, you have to make sure to be able to use this that it is in the medical record both the how long the patient's using it and the dosage that's being used okay that's very very important but don't overthink it um, there is a hicks picks code that's a great example that when i used find a code to to get some examples they use j0897 which is for prolia and <clears throat> This is not one that you would have probably thought of, but men who are um, um, at risk for a res ref, uh, for a fracture uh, because they're they have prost prostate cancer. <laughs> so, what are we going to code in that situation when they're taking Prolia? Well, we need to track that. So, the Prolia would fall under the Z79.899 and then the Z85.46 personal history malignant neoplasm of the prostate. Okay. And then um, I it gave the reference number there for that. Then, another question that I found in Find a Code that I thought was excellent that uh, was pretty pertinent. It looks pretty basic, but the answer that was given w went above and beyond. So, it says if a person's given non insulin injectable medications for diabetes, should we use Z79.4 
uh, Z79.84 or something different? <coughs> and the answer that came through, we're going to use long-term use of insulin, okay? But that is for a patient that is going to be taking it for an extended, extended period of time. Then we have the Z79.84 if you're taking an oral hypoglycemic, and there's like metformin and a whole bunch of other ones. But what they went on to say is don't forget if you are going to use Z79.4, you cannot use that if a person is temporarily given insulin to stop a diabetic reaction. So they're type 2 diabetic, you know, because type 1 has to have insulin. And it's a no, it's redundant to put the long-term insulin code uh, for a type 1 diabetic because it's it's a given. They have to have insulin to survive. Uh, however, for a type 2, they can use diet and exercise. They could use an oral medication, which we have a code for that, and uh, or they could be on insulin. <clears throat> but let's say the patient is temporarily given some insulin because they just need to get their blood sugar under control. They're not going to be on insulin long term. Then you're not going to code that long term uh, use of insulin. Be very, very careful. And that's a classic test question. So be very careful with that. Um, then <coughs> going on, they just went on ahead and said, like I said, I found this at Find a Code. They said you could give them more information if you uh, wanted to, to give a specific scenario. I think there's another example. Uh, yeah, Wisconsin Physician Services Insurance Corporation went on to talk about this um, DARPA protein alpha, <clears throat> and it's used when a patient has anemia and they have CKD. Uh, you have to have three codes when uh, dealing with that diagnosis. And I thought it was really important for you to be aware of this. Sometimes when we're doing research, something else pops up. And so I went ahead and put these on here. <coughs> if you use either one of these HixPix codes, J0881 or J0885, they're the same drug, <clears throat> more or less, but the same, for the same reason. But it tells you that first you're going to code that the patient has anemia. And that's the D64.9 or there may be a higher specificity. Then you're going to code the Z79.899 for long-term current drug therapy, <coughs> okay? But it says you have to use another code to indicate the condition being treated, okay? So just because a person has CKD and an anemia and they're being treated for the anemia, you need to say that they have CKD as well or whatever other reason they have the anemia. Some of this falls under the guidelines for anemia, uh, but I thought it was very important that uh, we make a note of that because it may be something that you weren't aware of. And that is a better understanding of long-term drug use. So just to recap very quickly, that if a person is on long-term drug therapy, you're going to use that Z79.899 if there isn't another code to indicate what kind of drug therapy they're, they're getting, like an anticoagulant or the insulin, etc. However, <clears throat> be very careful that there's not any additional guidelines that uh, uh, that sometimes you need more codes to describe the so whole situation. That's the example of anemia. Uh, uh, and when you put in Z codes, I think when you first start out, you're, uh, you either go from one extreme to another. You want to code everything that you see or you, and you overcode stuff, or you're too scared to code something when you need more codes to, um, to fill out the full definition or tell the whole story. And that's it. Need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.